Welcome to the Royce, and this is where we raise youthful soldiers for Christ. I am your host, Grace Michere, and today we bring you back to Laikipia County. We are coming to Njonjo Girls High School, and behind me you can see a beautiful view of the, the rest of Laikipia County. And we decided to show you the beautiful views that we are having just a few kilometers above the school as we head to the school to fellowship with the girls. So come with us as we go to see Njonjo Girls and what they have to offer, what they have for us for this episode of The Royce. I 
noticing that this place has a number of mushrooms as you can see some of them are here and you will notice that anywhere where you find mushrooms it's a very fertile place so this place is very blessed of the Lord like uh, Isaac blessed Jacob saying that he will be blessed of the dew of heaven this place is blessed of the dew of heaven the girls have very many giftings. They are so warm and welcoming and we are very impressed by how it is that they carry themselves. Now we are entering the service. We want to see how it is that they praise and they worship God and how it is that they are attentive during the ministration of the word of God.
dealing with the, uh, with the topic mindset everywhere we have gone this time. And today we shall look at a focused mindset. And we have been uh, looking at mindset which is a person's usual attitude. That is a person's state of mind. What is your state of mind? You know, as you continue in this life, mind, our mind is very important. So there is a difference between the brain and the and therefore, the brain is very important. So, our mindset. Uh, this is uh, the kind of mind that is not the, uh, that you have a focused mindset. It is a kind of mind that will not be distracted by anybody. Or anything. As Grace was talking about, uh, she has just been saying, if you have a focused mind, you know who I am in Georgia High School. I know what I want to get from this school. I, I really know and I'm very clear in my mind what I want to become after Georgia High School, after university. I am focused and therefore nobody is going to try to distract me. Maybe friends, maybe problems at home, maybe anything. You will remain focused. As I was, I've been studying about our Lord Jesus Christ as I was looking at this topic. And I, as I was reading about the story of Jesus Christ when he walked in the uh, in, on this earth, our Lord Jesus Christ was very focused. He knew exactly his assignment on earth, and he knew the final end. My assignment is to bring the whole mankind back, back to God, and I must die on the cross. And so whatever happened in his life, he didn't, he didn't care when he, went, he didn't care even when the disciples left him. He remained focused and walked to the cross. And the Bible tells us that uh, there was Paul who was telling the Philippians that you may have the mind that was in our Lord Jesus Christ. And one characteristic of the mind of our Lord Jesus Christ is a mind that is focused. A mind that is focused. So, for us to develop a focused mind, we must have one, be in fellowship with God. You must always be in fellowship with God. Number two, you must have God loves me attitude. God loves me. If God is for us, for us who can be at this? If God cares for me, do I care who also talks about me? Do I care who doesn't think about me? If God loves me, I know I'll get what I want. And number three, fearless. We look at the number one, be in fellowship with God. Jesus was in constant fellowship with God the Father. How was Jesus for, uh, in constant fellowship with the Father? Remember when Jesus, even when he was walking with his disciples, even as he walked and healed the people, even as he went to pray on the mountain with his disciples, when he thought that they were going to disrupt him, he, wanted, he felt that he's weary, he felt that he wanted to connect and to have the fellowship with the Lord, he used to be the truth. So that he can go and kneel down and have fellowship with God in prayer and tell God to strengthen me encourage me to move on, that I may be able to remain focused to the very end until I deliver why you sent me here on earth. Luke chapter 22 and 41, and verse 41, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone throw, and he knelt down and prayed. This is the time, this is the time the Lord Jesus Christ went with his disciples Mount Olive to pray, and uh, when they were somewhere, yes, wakasia kabisa, I really want to have a fellowship, a fellowship with my father. Akaondo katuki dogo, and he knelt down and prayed. So if you want to remain focused, you must have fellowship with God in prayer, fellowship with God in reading his word, and meditating upon the word of God. And maybe sometimes he was feeling like uh, the task is too much, but at that time in prayer, God was comforting him. He, he received comfort, he received the revelation, he received direction, and you find that whenever you fellowship with God, this is the time God comforts you. John 15, 7, it is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to, to you. So we may not be having Christ with us to encourage us even now, but we have the Holy Spirit. We were in another school last Sunday, and one girl came and asked me, I, I get saved every time the, the weekend, and every time we are being called, I feel I want to go.
So I I but any time now, after a few days or a few weeks, I am not saying that Hakuna difference in the Fanyanini, it may come from my Shayan. And therefore, the only thing I do, you only need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will whisper to you when when you finally feel that uh, maybe you, there are things you don't need to be doing as when you are saved. You don't want to engage yourself in something. The Holy Spirit will help you. So today, we are praying that this helper that the Lord left the disciples, that helped the King Peter and all the disciples, that they were able to, uh, to accomplish their assignment on earth because the Holy Spirit helped them. We are going to pray and tell God, send us the Holy Spirit. Send us this helper. That whenever we are in class, whenever I am in class, whenever I am doing whatever I am doing on this earth, he is going to help me so that I will be able to accomplish the assignment that God wanted me to assign and to accomplish when he put me on earth. So even as I continue, let your heart have the desire of having a fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Alright? Amen? Amen. Amen. So you know, Jesus spoke to the disciples this word before he departed. He knew they needed a help. It is obvious in this scripture that it is uh, God's will that we should be in close fellowship. Who wants to take a son? Show, and we hope that you are enjoying the company of Njonjo Girls High School. We are taking a very short commercial break. There's much more coming up from this particular school from Laikipia County. Therefore, stay with us. <laughs> 